Oh, it's a, it's a lovely whiskey. Little known space side, I understand, but um, up there along with the best known whiskey. Um, lovely high aromatic floral fruity notes at the start. Um, just as good as it gets. Just, just lovely stuff. I mean, this is, this is one of my favourite sorts of whisky that uh, Sorry, I'm easily lost for words where a whisky like this is concerned. Um, it tastes exactly as you would expect and want a whisky to taste from from that of that sort and from that locality and that cask origin. And it um, it it gives over some of its flavour when you put water to it. Though perhaps not as much as I would have expected. So I should I should go canny on the water with this one. But there are lots of ni lots of nice things underlying it. Floral going to, going to sweet. It's, it has all that a good whiskey should have. Mm. And it, it's astonishingly sweet when you taste it. It tastes of honey and a whole lot of other nice things besides, but predominantly of honey. There is there's a small spectrum of Speyside whiskies which give you this, this honey note up front. Um, the, the most striking of them is undoubtedly Glen Rosses, and, and it has, it's, has honey on the nose right away, whereas this actually tastes like honey, although it, you, it wouldn't suggest it on the nose, but it's a very nice drinking whiskey. Now this, um, I have to be cagey about saying what whiskey it is but so as not to make anyone unhappy about their trademark but I think it is well known that this was the first whiskey we ever bottled in the society. Indeed it was the first, my first experience of, of, um, of the best malt whiskey so it doesn't take a lot of working out. Absolutely lovely stuff. <coughs> Cherry cask, what you'd expect. <coughs> a good sherry cask maturation. Oh, it's certainly been in sherry for some of its life. Um, so rich, rich, dark fruits. Not, not the kind of light floral aromas, but much, much more dark. I, I, I keep using the, the metaphor dark, but it's, it's dried fruits, dried orange peel and stuff like that. Makes you think of black bun, or at least makes me think of black bun. My mum used to make black bun and there was a fair amount of whiskey went into it. <coughs> but what it smelt of was, was raisins and currants and plums and things like that. And that's what made this make, makes, makes me think of. And again, all overlaid by this aroma, or this aroma of honey. It manages, and this is not an easy thing to do, to be on the palate to be both sweet and dry at the same time. And that's the, one of the signs of a, a really great classic whiskey. Quite peppery too. You need a fair amount of water with this for drinking as opposed to smelling. After all, the object of the stuff is to drink eventually. Um,
good stuff. No question. Very dead dry aftertaste, which I'm certain is not cultivated by the distiller or the maturation. The dryness of a whiskey's aftertaste just happens to be a stroke of good fortune, undeserved by the whiskey industry, whereby if you drink this stuff, you want to drink more of it because your mouth is left dead dry, so you drink more because it's sweet. And this we have is, again, I've got to be cagey about the name, but well known to anyone who knows whiskey as being one of the very few mainland distilleries which has long made a habit of peating some of the whiskey heavily. And Oh, it is nice stuff. Now, I'm not generally a, a lover of heavily peaty whiskies, and this, I think, has... <coughs> the, the malt must have seen a fair amount of peat to get that aroma. It's, it's smoky and fishy, and as I was saying earlier, not nasty, whi not nasty fishy, but sweet, good whiskey. Uh, fishy like um, Fenon Haddies, a little known delicacy of the North East. These are mostly haddocks, though it works fine with cod. Um, fish which have been lightly brined and then smoked over oak. So you, you're essentially getting, I mean, it's the same constituents, it's oak smoke and the things that it produces, and it's lovely stuff. And Yes, I'm starting to get what I didn't get earlier on Smith Rally, that you can discern floral aromas under the smoke. And <coughs> for this you've got to spend some time with it. You're not going to get that right away. <coughs> Try a very small amount at full strength. Not a practice I would recommend very much, but um, it's worth trying occasionally, and it, it's quite nice. Um, but better with some water. Mm. Mm. Again, a lovely sweet whiskey. The last thing you would expect with a nose like that would be something that would be sweet. But it is. It's very sweet on the palate and not in the least peppery. And actually, a very nice whiskey. I think I could quite happily spend an evening drinking that. <laughs>